And those are the main cycles that we want to ensure that you are very well equipped, if it is correct for you to do so, to be able to deliver to your clients. And you're going to get good at this if you practice. There's no way around it. Practice is the name of the game. So do yourself a favor, either partner or practice with somebody outside of class to ensure that you are implementing things as soon as you start to learn them, if it is correct for you to do so. When you start to speak what you're learning or at least observing and processing, you're doing the work of what it takes to be a successful analyst. Put it into practice, experiment with it, try it and see. So often at the beginning of these classes, especially if you're new to human, newer to human design, what people will tend to do is, this is what I'm experiencing, is that correct? And at some point, you're going to, if you practice, you're going to let go of, is that correct? Asking the question, and you're going to experience it innately, your own process, your own experience, and explain it from a new perspective, a different way, your way. So remember, all of this is your own experiment. This is not about any of us being an authority and telling you how it must, has to, will be, or should be, but always framing it in such a way that you give your client their power back. You are not the power person that knows better than them. You are the person who can help interpret, guide, analyze, and remember to bring them back to be their own authority. Because guess what? What I've noticed in a lot of these cycles that I've gone through with a lot of different clients and students is that I can see myself in their cycles and they are in my cycles. And so it is just part of the process that we're learning from each other that this experience, this enrichment, this development of our process together and studying this rich, wonderful system of human design is part of our program. Ross says that the program, oops, did I, I think I accidentally, no, that's right, okay. Ross says that the program is not being forced on you. It's a vast ocean of information and it's a streaming ocean of information. We're only intended to take in what is correct for us, not everything. So here is the openness. Kacha made the whiteness transparent so we could see the, the stars coming through. Imagine those like feeds, if you will. So if you can imagine those feeds of not only the stars beyond, but planets and people, you can see how easy it is to be lost in the program because there's such a vastness inside of us that is re receiving the neutrino weather, the program, the ocean. And as you've been through analyst training level one, you know that you can still be affected by the program depending on what you're encountering and how it's affecting you. I'm talking about line fixings, you know? So it's not just this. But it's so much deeper, so much more. And so what is actually there for you needs to be touched into in alignment with your decision-making process, waiting for the strategy to activate your authoritative process. What's there for you can then be picked and choosed from instead of you eating the entire buffet. Here we have the dessert uh, trays. And the program is like that. It's a smorgasbord. Imagine yourself at an all-you-can-eat buffet where you have not only all the desserts, but all kinds of courses and, you know, salads and, and soups and main courses, everything there. It's not all for you to eat. You would be so sick. Don't be a pig. Because if you're a pig, Ra says you're not self. <laughs> you're in your shadow state trying to take advantage of everything. If you eat all those pastries from the program, you're going to have trouble digesting it. It will probably make you sick. Yeah. So you'll get frustrated. You'll get angry. You'll get bitter and you'll get disappointed if you just move with the program and don't be your own authority. There is one for you, one person for you, one process for you. Maybe it's two, maybe it's more. And if you're operating in alignment, you're going to see that that general program 
has something to offer you and what is really truly there for you will show up in accordance with your decision making process. <laughs> Mari says, drool, I would have a good try, right? <laughs> All the sweets and wonderful things. If you like sweet, if you're a gate 30 or you just have a sweet tooth. Yeah. All right. So Ra says, listen to this carefully. He says, the further away you are from yourself, the more likely it is that you will experience everything in the program. The more you are yourself, the more likely you will make decisions as yourself and only have the experiences that are correct for you. The weather, those cycle imprints, are about the possibilities in the imprint. Always coming back to you are your own authority, which is why it's so important to ensure that your clients are on track having had a foundation analysis, or at very minimum, LYD, living your design, along with an overview, you know, experimenting for a while. So this is the next step. If they're all hopped up on any of these cycles and they don't know how to be their own authority, you actually have two readings to do and you have your work cut out for you. So separate them out. And at the beginning of any analysis, remind them of who they are. Ask them if it's correct for you. Do you have any questions on being your own authority? Give them specific tips, tools, techniques, strategies unique to their design. And they're more likely to have a good time when it comes to going through this cycle that you are preparing them for, whichever cycle it is that you're going to read for them. So these are our weather imprints, these cycles. That's what we're talking about when we're looking at cycles. It's the neutrino weather. What is in the background frequency that is impacting us specifically and how it impacts us specifically. All these different ways of being able to be impacted by that transit. Is it gonna be lightning? Is it gonna be sunny? Is it gonna be cloudy and rainy? How is it that we are going to experience potentially that snowflake of ourselves in context with what we encounter, who we encounter, where we go? It can be seen in our genetic code. Remember the openness in the design, the receptivity, especially where it hooks into our innate genetic imprint is going to feel real personal and our decision-making process has to come back to what is innately our inherent consistency. That's why we use the natal imprint for giving them their strategy and their authority. We can see weather on a map and here's your map. You're going to learn how to read the weather for yourself, for others. How someone is going to operate within the weather pattern is totally determined by whether or not they're in alignment. If they're operating correctly. They won't suffer so much, so much. I'm not saying you can avoid all suffering, but it won't be the not self shadow state miasma. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but you know, the, the pain and the suffering and the miserableness of being not self. I remember what that was like. <laughs> 